an exhibition title is so important. You want something that's going to speak to the public and be a true statement about the work that you're presenting. So there's a back and forth and the dialogue of back and forth of the moving of the work, but also literally through time a back and forth about what painting is in the present and how we look to the past and how we will go forth into the future. We've never shown together. We're a very, very diverse group of painters, and that's kind of our common ground, is that we're all painters. I want every square inch of the painting to be as important as any other square inch. And I also want you to see something and know really what it is, but at the same time, when you look harder, realize it's really just paint. There's the element of, of the collecting that I find interesting, and, and also the history of some of the particular paintings that translates into my paintings. They're all about the element of, of, of man dealing with the environment at some level. Color is a very, very important to me. And the, the shapes and the other things that I do follow the color. And if I feel like working in black, I work in black. And that's just, you know, that's just the way I am. So I really wanted this to kind of reflect, you know, the circus as it's packed up. You're not seeing any of the details anymore. You're just kind of seeing the stacks and the colors. So, yeah. And I have these weird ideas, and I feel like I need to, I need to make them. Uh, I don't know that it's really anything more than that. You know, I just... Um, can be driving along and suddenly this kind of weird idea comes to me and and then I have to see it through. That's all there is to it. I had it in my head that I wanted to try to be as a direct... One of the things I wanted to also respond to was because I am an on-site plein air painter is to paint something from their campus and they have these amazing banyan trees and I'm doing a 15 panel 20 by 14 foot tall conglomerate piece of multiple views of two of their main banyan trees on the property. So that's what the piece behind me is. It's, it's a on-site plein air painting that was done uh, over the course of essentially about two weeks. I was researching the Ringlings collection eight years ago and so I inadvertently was working from this collection but I'm working from many different historical paintings and collections and so when I found out we were showing here it was a really pleasant surprise to find out that I was working with paintings of great renown and prestige that were already here. When you put our work together, you, you actually again have that more dynamic relationship um, within each piece because you are going back and forth and so you really never know what it looks like until you see it. And so when we saw it, we have to say we were all, we thought we outdid ourselves this time.